It was a really interesting day, you know, uh, getting to spend time with family and everything and listen to Roy Hall speak and everything. It was real nice. Bring us through the scenario that led you to this position. Um, well, one of my coaches, my coaches came here for a uh, practice one day and uh, got in touch with uh, Coach Hinton, talked to them about uh, just if there was any guys from Walpark that uh, could possibly play at this level, and they mentioned my name, and I kept in talk, uh, contact with them, and uh, eventually a preferred walk-on position uh, came about, and uh, I took the opportunity. What have the biggest challenges been for you so far? Um, just maintaining with the pace of this game. It, it's it's much different than high school, and uh, you know just uh, trying to keep a focus on yeah. what needs to be done. And of course, classes haven't even started yet. Well, actually, I took uh, some summer classes. I took uh, two online classes and then a sociology class uh, that I got through, and um, those ended on July 31st, and then fall. Fall semester's classes start on August 24th, I believe. Where are you projecting on the line, or at this point, you're just uh, flexible to fill in where they need you? Yeah, um, I've been told to uh, be practicing right guard, but, you know, um, keeping the opportunity open for any other positions is fine. In terms of numbers, uh, you you will have some opportunity, maybe to maybe to make the travel squad at some point? Uh, yeah, you know, I just need to prove myself for that. Right now, I'm... Uh, on the 105 and uh, just, you know, as long as I keep up with the program and everything, and then I'll need to prove myself to get onto the practice squad or onto the uh, traveling squad, my bad. What do you say to this year's uh, Redskins? Oh, good luck, boys. Uh, Going to be a lot of challenges, but I know that uh, they'll get through it, I'm sure. How long until you're fully indoctrinated into the slob? <laughs> uh, you know, having all these guys kind of around me and uh, just taking those, taking the um, multiple events that we've gone through together, it's just, you know, getting uh, getting acclimated is pretty easy. Has there been anything yet for you, Blake, that's been physically pretty rude, if you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all physically rude, but, uh, you know, that's their, that's their goal is to break us down, but, you know, it, it'll eventually get us to where we need to be. I'm sure you've always been one of the biggest people growing up. Yeah. And now you're in a room where you're one of the smallest guys. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the offensive linemen in there are, are so big. Has that been a nice adjustment to not be the biggest anymore? It's nice having guys that are kind of like yourself, you know, and it's, uh, it's nice to, you know, have that kind of bond with each other in that aspect, the physical aspect. What's the toughest mental thing at this point? Is it just knowing what kind of drills you're working? Because we're not even close to X's and O's yet, right? Yeah, um, just kind of just making maintaining focus on what needs to be done. Um, you know, just uh, when it gets hard and everything, just keeping a uh, straight head with everything. What do you think of Coach Warner so far? It's a very good coach. He uh, just pushes you to your fullest potential, and uh, I'm really excited to see what happens in the next couple of years. Who has most impressed you amongst the, the veterans? This is a pretty uh, experienced line that returns. A any of those guys have really stuck out? Uh, honestly, all of them have been really great. Um, you know, they've been able to help us freshmen uh, kind of grow into the offensive line position, and uh, it's, it's been really nice to have them around.